Hello and welcome back to the channel with me, the Orienteering Kid, where today we're back in Gamelby for day four of the Swedish Forest Cup. Yes, we are here on Pancake Day for many countries across the world, ready for the fourth day of the Swedish Forest Cup, a week-long series organised by Christian Emberg in the forests of Sweden. And as always, these events are found on the Tempo Simulator, the link to which can be found in the description of this video. Now, the previous three days have been very interesting. They have been very difficult, but I have found them a lot of fun. Two of them I have struggled with a lot, but one of them I think I managed to get just about. However, we are returning back to the area for day one today so I'm expecting this to be very difficult again and we'll just have to see how we do so let's jump straight into it as we go into the Swedish Forest Cup section and we're down to day four which is today a 1 to 2500 map and five meter contours like day one with four stations and again a 60 second penalty for every wrong answer the zero tolerance as always is four meter no side problems and we are being reminded that the map was originally mapped at 1 to 15,000 in 1988 but it has just been scaled to one to two and a half so there may be some slight irregularities that we have to keep an eye out for again the pictures are going to be generally 120 degrees so we do have to take into account this wide angle and some of the sides of things that's why there's no side problems in the zero tolerance and we are actually going to a one to five thousand scale on station four so we're going to have to remember that as we go into the final station as always my answers will be appearing in the top right hand corner of the screen so you can see exactly what I'm putting correct or wrong with the black and red letters at the moment that I do and yeah with that let's have a go at the fourth day of the Swedish Forest Cup and here is station one okay um, it looks like there's probably gonna be some rootstock at the front with Bravo on the hill at the back um, that crag could be that there with the two knolls I can believe that one is I can believe that one's Bravo. Um, that knoll could be that there, or it could be that one there actually. I think Foxtrot's on the other crag. That hill it's probably going to be the Echo Hill. That crag, or that bolt, or uh, knoll actually, that's not one of the right knolls, is it? Um, and that knoll I believe is that over there so I think there were possibly three zeros in that that was quite a hard station to start with I was expecting maybe to see some symbol for the fallen trees but there wasn't but I think the feature that we started with as the first task was very clear to be Bravo and then we had to work from there I think I just about managed to fit some of the knolls together and some of the other features but that did seem to come out all right I'm slightly wary about the fact that I did put three zeros because that seems quite a lot for some of these stations but we will have to see afterwards but for now we just have to put that to the back of our mind kind of forget about it for the moment as we go into station two okay um these two main crags were bold at the end of that one um could that be the rounded crag knoll at the back of that crag top of that hill is it too far back to be echo I think if it's not, that's cruel. Um, that hill. Is that hill too far forward or is it, that's got to be far back. So I think that one's got to be Charlie. That knoll over there, I believe it's Alpha. That knoll is far out the back and that knoll is Delta. For a second station, I don't think that was too bad either, if I've managed to picture it right. I think the first two tasks were borderline zeros for me, but I have gone with them because I think they are very close to four meters, so I'm happy to go with them. And the zero out the back for task four was clear and we came to Delta, which was only really the option for task four afterwards. So I think that one was quite good. I'm happy with that. And so we will go straight on to station three. Okay, it's um, okay. Alpha's right to the left, so don't forget about that. Three knolls in a line could be those three. That puts the boulder over there of Bravo. Hill at the back. That's got to be miles at the back. 
that crag over there. I think that's got to be Alpha really. That next to the path is Foxtrot and that hill at the back is Echo. And that was another quite nice station. I think that was potentially quite a quick station for some of you. I think once you spotted the three knolls at the front it seemed to work out quite nicely with Echo on the hill just behind the third knoll on the right and Bravo on the boulder just by the left hand knoll as well. And then Alpha on top of the crag. Just make sure you do spot Alpha so you don't miss punch. And yeah I don't really think that station was too bad so now I'm wondering if I did get one wrong. We will have to see afterwards. But now we do move on to the final station of the day which is station 4 which does also mean that we are going to a 1 to 5,000 map though rather than 1 to 2.5. Just remember that as we go into station 4. Okay I see why we're on 1 to 5,000. Um, there's quite a few crags at the back. Those crags will be that though. Those seem to fit quite nicely. Then you go to that crag Re-entrant out the back, I don't believe there is anything in there, unless it's that one. Oh no, it is that one, it's Delta. Right out the front on the spur is a zero. So that's the Delta re-entrant, so... There's probably nothing on that. Oh, have I got this wrong? Yeah, I've got this wrong. Okay, so that crag is Foxtrot now. Um, that, re that spur, where's the other spur? That one was there, so it could be Charlie. Um, no, I think it's round there. And then that crag is... Maybe that crag is Echo. Maybe I was right to start with. That's thrown me a lot there as I definitely slowed up for the final tasks and that was my slowest station by far. That was a tough one to end on so let's come back to that afterwards. Let's look at the first three for now though. And with this one, I think this was quite a hard one to start with but I have in my opinion managed to get it. I think the first thing I saw here was the hill out the back with Bravo on it and once you see that there is a crag here with a knoll potentially, I think that's really what this is going to describe it looks like there's a corner there and there's a knoll let's see if other features fit well there does seem to be a couple of hills over here potentially and delta could be on a hill and foxtrot looks like it's on a crag out the back there are two out there so it might be on a wrong one we'll have to see but that does seem to fit as bravo so i'm happy with that one but then we come out to this crag and we want the northern part of a crag to the right hand side and we have identified foxtrot being on a crag out there but i believe it's the wrong one i think it's the one over here rather than this one because if you look at where this line goes the northern part of it will be about here by this boulder or the knoll here it's going to be one of the two at least and I think Foxtroy is actually on the northern part of this crag back here so this one is probably a zero I'm going to stick with that although it could be Foxtrot and I could just be reading that wrong we'll see that later but then we come back to this hill and I think I'd safely seen that there was a knoll here and so what Echo was on is probably the hill although maybe that that's the hill, that's the knoll, and that's just part of this contour. That might make a bit more sense with Bravo being on this knoll. Maybe that one is Delta. Where would we place Charlie? I think Charlie would be down here. That would put Delta on the hill. This is probably Delta and probably my first mistake of the day. I think Delta's on that hill and Echo is actually now on the knoll. And this is just part of the contour near the crag. But I don't particularly know that. You will already know that from watching it. So we will have to see. But then we go out to the back and... I think this one is again definitely a zero if we're saying that Bravo is on this knoll and Alpha is on a knoll just this side of the crag. So the knoll we actually want is miles down this way and so definitely a zero again. So that wasn't too bad really for the fourth task. And then finally we come up here and I'm thinking now this is probably Echo on the knoll. It does say the western part of the knoll and Echo is offset on this so I'm pretty sure that one is now Echo. And so that is two mistakes to start 
the day off, which I'm not really surprised about. This was a tough terrain, and three zeros did feel like a lot. It does actually seem like it was two rather than three, but I think I am happy now with that station. We then come to station two, and I don't think this had too many details to go off, but what I saw was the hill at the back with a bump with alpha on it, and then there's potentially another hill here that could be crags on it, and then you come here and you have a circular hill with a knoll, and you have another hill over here. So we want the hill to the right hand side. Is it going to be Echo because it's on top of the hill? Well it does say southwestern part so it's going to be the part sort of nearest to the right and that does kind of seem to be where Echo is. I was just debating whether it's actually going to be on top of the crag but I think with the resizing of the map and the slight discrepancies that could come with that I'm pretty happy with that one being Echo. And the same here coming to the platform spur I wanted it a bit further back but I think it is probably in the northern part of this spur so I think I'm happy with that one being Charlie right out the front of these hills and then we go over to the knoll which we identified before as being the alpha knoll so that one is good as alpha then we go right out to the back and the only candidate for this one is really delta because we're going between the two hills here but I think delta is on this closest knoll and so not all the way over the hill round the other side which we can't see and then we come to delta for the final task so I think that one is definitely delta there there aren't any knolls to the right hand side but there could be a knoll behind the other hill so I think that one is definitely delta and I've probably done that station a lot better than the previous one but that was a good station there were just a few features you had to anchor on and you could have thought we were elsewhere on the map but yeah that was a nice change of pace and I think this third one got a bit quicker as well because the thing that I saw here were just some hills or knolls here with another bump at the back and then when we come into the map we have three knolls in a line and there's a hill out the back as well so that's probably one two three with Charlie, Delta and Foxtrot, an echo on the hill out the back here and so we want the other end of the line of knolls and there does seem to be a boulder there where we want it and Bravo is on the south side of that so I'm happy with that one as Bravo and then if you weren't thinking carefully enough you may have just put echo for this as we move up the map and further back but I think we have definitely said that echo is going to be on this hill here and I think the hill that this is describing is a fair bit back probably over here maybe so I am happy with that one being a zero and then we come forward again and we want the hill that's to the left hand side of this boulder and there is a crag on it as well and there does seem to be a crag here and alpha is on the top of that hill so if that's not alpha I don't really know where else it could be then we go to the southern of the three knolls and we want just on top of it and that's where foxtrot is so I'm again happy with that one as foxtrot but I'm now wondering whether this one is actually a zero rather than echo because there's a small bump here and that could easily be the small bump here and we have this whole contour going round here as where Echo is. But I think the fact it says southwestern part of the hill actually, that does seem to be where Echo could be and so maybe it is Echo and maybe I have actually got that all right again. We will have to see afterwards, it's the one I'm the least sure on in this station but I think that one is fine. And then we move to the final station moving to the 1 to 5000 map and I think this was a lot harder to do. I've doubted myself a few times during this but I think maybe I was right to start with and what I can see here is one crag down below and that looks like it's going to be this crag here and then you have the crag that goes round there and this other long crag here. I don't really know where the crag is that Foxtrot is on. Maybe it's on the knoll instead actually or the contour and so we go into this re-entrance and it does seem to be Delta there. So I am actually going to stick with Delta even though I thought I got it wrong to start with. We then spill out the re-entrance and we want a spur but I think it's meant to be in front of this crag so in coming down out the re-entrance the spur is going to be about here and so is actually a zero and maybe I didn't get the first two wrong and shouldn't have doubted myself. I was thinking maybe this one could be alpha on that spur over there afterwards but I think that's probably on the next contour along. And then this is where I doubted myself and I think this one is now a zero because I think Foxtrot is on the knoll up there which is here and so we want the next crag around and then the crag up from it which is over there and so quite a long way from where Foxtrot is and probably a zero. But that was quite a hard task and I was doubting myself that I got the first two wrong. So yeah, I think that is probably a third mistake. We come round to here though and because this is a re-entrant, I don't think we can see it. What I think I saw was I then realised that Delta must be actually in this re-entrant here like I thought before and so when you follow the crag round, the contour is going to bend back on itself. So it's going to be over this hill behind the crag and so will be a zero rather than Charlie which I think is in this re-entrant here. So I think this one is actually a zero.
Zero, even though it took me 24 seconds to make. That's definitely better than getting it wrong straight away with the 60 second penalty, so I think I'm happy with that. And then finally we move to the crag next to the re-entrant, which we have now realised has got Delta in it, so I think this one is Echo. And I think, really, after I thought I got the first two wrong in this station, it turns out I've actually only got one wrong, which is quite good. I'm happy with that. And it means I only made three mistakes in the day, so I just about double my time from 183 seconds to 363 seconds, which isn't really too bad at all. It has been quite a challenging but enjoyable day, as always, with three, possibly four mistakes across it. Let's go and have a look at where that puts me in the overall results so far. And I am expecting to be down in 68th, which isn't really too bad at all compared to some of my previous results. I'm just happy to be competing and having fun as we go. But yeah, we'll have to see how well this holds. We've still got a couple of hours to go, but I will see you afterwards for the overall results. And we are back and it does seem like I have dropped a small bit as we expected but I'm only down in 75th, that's not too bad at all. It was only 3 errors, I was debating between 3 or 4 errors but it does seem like the one I wasn't quite sure on was actually correct which is good. And yeah, I'm not disappointed with that one at all, I think this is actually going to be one of my better days. Firstly, well done to Severin for another race win in this series, that's 2 out of 4 events he has won. Winning it by 1 second today was very close and there were quite a fair few in the top with no errors where people in the top 20 were only at max making one error. In terms of where Severin won the race though I think it was definitely in station 3 looking at it because he was behind Catherine for both station 1 and 2 but then did station 3 13 seconds quicker and then station 4 6 seconds quicker so very well done to him for doing so it was very close between first and second but then there was a big gap between second and third. Let's go have a look at the station percentages now and with station one we are looking at maybe the second task being the worst answered here and it is it's at 26 percent that is quite low quite a lot of people going with delta and echo but 200 of you managed to realize it was a zero this was the one out on the crag with foxtrot and i'm surprised so many of you did put delta and echo maybe you were miscounting and realizing the foxtrot kite you just didn't count it properly that's always a possibility but i think with so many of you doing that maybe Maybe Delta and Echo were viable options and we'll have to have a look at that. For me it was definitely between Foxtrot or Zero though, but Foxtrot I believe was on the wrong crag, the one further back. So well done to the 200 that managed to spot that. And then there were actually two more tasks below 50% here, the third task being Delta. 208 of you thought it was Bravo, but that was the first task on the top of the biggest hill in the area. And 148 thought it was a Zero, I think I was with the 46 of you that thought it was Echo echo because I'd seen the bump by the crag but I don't think that null was mapped so I think that one was clearly delta and then we came to a similar problem for the final task with echo and I think quite a lot of you still didn't really know where we were and so zero did but quite a few noticed there was a null over where delta was so did put delta and if you were coming from bravo being the third task I can definitely believe you might have thought it was delta but that one was echo so it does seem like that was actually a very hard station to start with I made two mistakes in it so we will have to look at specifically those three tasks when we go back and then we go to station two and it's looking a lot greener actually although maybe it's the first couple of tasks which will have the lowest percentages and it does seem like the first task was the lowest at 60% with 461 of you realizing it was echo but 148 thought it was a zero I think to me this one was clearly echo or zero I wasn't quite sure on the positioning of echo in relation to the center of the circle but I think with the four meter zero tolerance it definitely put me in about the right right place. And then 68% for the second task as well. Again, I thought it was between Charlie or Zero, but quite a few put Delta as well. And again, I didn't think it was quite in the right place, but it was definitely within four meters of where I wanted it. So I thought that one was good as Charlie, and it does seem like it was. And then the Zero in this station, with 171 putting Delta, but I think very clearly seeing your mistake in task five, when 593 put Delta for that. But 492 managed to realize that the four 
fourth task was actually a zero. So well done if you managed that. We will have a brief look at the first couple of tasks, but I don't think I need to go over much there. And then we go to station three, and I think this is probably going to be even greener, although it does look like the first couple of tasks might have caught more people out again. And they are only just above 50%, but they are above 50%, with the first task having a fair few answers for Charlie, Delta and Echo, and quite a few zeroing it, 152. But 57% of you, or 437 of you, managed to notice that it was actually Bravo on the boulder. I think once I'd spotted the three nulls of Charlie, Delta and Echo, I could see the boulder of Bravo and believe that was the correct boulder. But I can see if you haven't quite placed those nulls, you may not think we're in the right place. So I'm not surprised there were a few zeros there. And then the second task as well, there were 295 of you that thought it was Echo, but 391 of you managed to realise it was a zero. To me, again, knowing that Bravo was the first task, the circle moved too far into the background to be the Echo Hill. But Echo was definitely on a hill and many of you would have probably realised your mistake going into the final task as an extra quarter of you managed to realise that the final task was Echo. So yeah, it's just the first two tasks to look over there because I think the rest of the station was very well answered. So well done to you for doing so. And then finally we come to station four and this is where I made one more error and I think this is definitely going to be the most common error here as it looks like with the massive red column. And it is the only task below 50% here with 244 of you managing to get it right with a zero but 159 went with echo and 319 went with foxtrot i think to me foxtrot was the one i put and it definitely looked like it was on a crack but once i'd realized that i was actually correct for the first two tasks i then realized that the foxtrot kite was actually on the null and we will see that as we go back and then actually the final two tasks are only just above 50 percent most of you realized it was going to be between charlie or zero for the fourth task with charlie being in a re-entrance but i think i showed earlier that it was definitely going to be behind the crack and so a zero but if you hadn't quite placed yourself i think the next most common wrong answer being delta i'm not surprised with it also being in a re-entrant and yeah i do think that was quite a hard task and also the final task if you put fox drop for the third task you could have easily zeroed this one thinking it was on the crag next to delta but i think after i'd managed to fit everything back together again echo did definitely seem to fit a lot better so i think that one was good as echo but we will have a look at those final three tasks as the final three tasks we look at for today but let's go back now and have a look at some of those slightly less well answered tasks and with station one Quite a few of you managed to place Bravo on the top of the hill, although I think you might have doubted yourself later in the station. This task had quite a few wrong answers though of Delta and Echo, and I'm starting to see why potentially with Delta, although I'm struggling to see it with Echo, unless you hadn't just noticed the Foxtrot kite and so gone Foxtrot Echo from the right hand side. But you can see that with this rockery here, that could be the crag here, and so this would be over here with the crags, and this knoll would be the Bravo knob. However, I think in looking at that, you can see that this is probably going to be the top of the hill. So the crags over here are going to be facing the other way. So the steep drop is going to go to the other side. So we can't say that these crags are going to be the Foxtrot crags. And so we must actually trust ourselves with our Bravo answer before and say that Delta must be on the hill with Echo on the knoll and Foxtrot is on one of these crags. But it is the wrong crag. As you can see, the stake of Foxtrot does end before this crag at the bottom. So we actually want the kite to be about here behind the bump and so is a zero. I think that was quite a hard zero to spot though so if you managed to get it very well done. And then you get my two mistakes but I think they are a lot clearer now. This bump is just part of the contours here and so Echo is on the knoll and Delta is on this ring contour. So the hill is going to be Delta and then we move on to the knoll and it's on the western part of the knoll and so is the echo kite slightly off centered from the knoll there. I think that was very hard to spot though. I definitely got it one off center with that bump being there, but I think that was a good station and a good trick to throw in. Station two then was well answered. I think most of you managed to spot the zero, which is very well done. It was just the first two tasks which had slightly lower percentages. And I can definitely agree that this one especially might be a bit ambiguous as to whether it's echo or zero being on the crag there. If we've identified this hill 
with the Nol, which I think is the key thing to see here. And to me, maybe Echo might be on top of the crag, which is there. And we actually want the hill. However, with it being the southwestern part of the hill, it is going to be offset from the peak. So I think that is definitely on the southwestern part of that hill. Maybe slightly too close to the edge of the crag, but I don't think that's too bad with the upscaling of the map, etc. So I think that one is fine as Echo, and it is a similar thing here with Charlie, but looking at it, it is going to be on the northern part of this platform, as it does just start to come down from Charlie there. So I do think that one is clearer as Charlie, but again, if you hadn't quite placed yourself in the first two tasks, it could be very hard for you to do, and you might think it was maybe Foxtrot, possibly, or even Delta out the back, and it did take me much more than half the station to answer those two tasks. So well done if you did manage to get them right and do them very quickly. And then we moved to station three, and there were quite a few wrong answers here. There were quite a few for Charlie, so I wonder whether you saw the boulder of Charlie, and then the three knolls would be behind you, and then this could be the hill of Foxtrot with the contour behind it of Echo. That does seem to fit quite well, but I think there are too many bumps here to not be the three knolls. You can see the path at the side of the photo as this path running through, and there is something over there by Bravo. So in knowing there is going to be a boulder up from three knolls, where is that on the map? If this is going to be the boulder, that boulder isn't mapped, and I would say that with both boulders being taller than the kites, they should both be mapped. However, this one is mapped as a knoll. You can see there are three bumps of Charlie, Delta, and Foxtrot, as we keep saying, and so Bravo would definitely be on that boulder. I'm not surprised quite a lot did put Charlie, though. And there were a fair few that put Echo for the second task, and I think if you put Charlie for the first task, you could definitely think this one is Echo, as we have moved quite far back, but I think we have moved a long way back compared to where Bravo and even Charlie is, if you're saying that either of them are the boulder, we must be going a long way back into the woodland over there. And I had placed Echo on this hill, which it did seem to be for the final task, so I was straight there with a zero, but I can see why quite a few echoed it, and then you realised your mistake as we came to task five. But again, I don't think that was too bad an answered station. I think we were managing to get a grip of the map by this point, so well done if you managed to get those right. And then we come to the final station, and I think the first two tasks were actually well answered. I just think that when we came to task three, there was a moment of doubt in your head, and I had this moment of doubt as well, as to whether you had got the first two right. And I think most of you who got this wrong put Foxtrot, and I can agree that if you're looking at these crags here, there is a crag at the back, and then another crag further down. So that could be the Foxtrot and the Echo crags. But the one thing to spot from there is there is a third crag below it, and there is clearly not going to be any crags below these two crags, so it's not going to be the Echo and Foxtrot crags, it's going to be these two crags round here. And you can see the lowest crag on the lower contour here has to be this one in the front, and then you work back from it, you have the crag directly behind it on the map, which is this one here, and the re-entrant with Delta, which we answered for the first task. We move to the right-hand side, and you have the Echo crag, which will be this one here, and then you go up and you see that that actually isn't going to be a crag, that is going to be the null. I think that is quite ambiguous, but I could definitely see that it would fit with the rest of the mapping we have had. And then you realise that we're going to the right-hand side of Foxtrot, so there are going to be no kites over here. So that one is now clearly a zero, but I'm not surprised a lot to put Foxtrot. And then quite a few put Charlie for this one, and I can agree that Charlie is in a re-entrant, but in knowing that the map is going to be orientated correctly, Charlie is in a re-entrant that's going away from us, however this one is going to the right. So it can't be that one immediately, because it's not facing the same direction as the Charlie re-entrant, or the Delta re-entrant for that matter, and none of the others are in re-entrant. So that one will be a zero. In terms of where Charlie and Delta were, we have already said Delta in this re-entrant round here, but Charlie is actually in this one that is facing away from us, and kind of part of the same area, it's just a long way to the left. So that one is definitely a zero. So that's just one extra thing to look out for in future days, remembering that the map is correctly orientated, so if the re-entrant is facing the wrong way, it won't be the same re-entrant. And there were a fair few of you that zeroed this, and I think if you're still thinking that Foxtrot's going to be on this knoll and crag here. We want the crag over here instead, and so this one is going to be a zero. However, we will return to the Delta re-entrant, which is this one here, and we just want the first crag to the right, which does put us on the Echo crag and will be Echo. So I think that 
that was quite an interesting station to end off the day. It threw me psychologically quite a bit and caused me to make one error because of it, but I think it was all solvable there. So well done if you did manage to get it right. I know there were quite a few that got no errors across the day and I think it definitely was possible to do so, so very well done. Let's go and have a look now at the overall results for the series and it will shoot me down to my position probably first and you can see I'm in 84. I'm not too surprised by that with my 191st and my 209th across two days. Let's go have a look at the top guys and we have Severin by no surprise in first place with him winning two events so far and coming second in the third one. We then have Yuha in second place only four points behind him and then Anti another two and a half points behind Yuha. So the positions are moving round a bit. Alessio was in second yesterday but he came 64th today so has moved down two places. However with one score being taken out of everyone's scores we will have to see whether Alessio can bring it back. I think they are starting to spread out though so we will have to see what happens. In terms of the clubs, Massey have still managed to maintain their first place today although they came second in the clubs overall. It was MTV season that beat them closing the gap slightly. There is now about 30 points between the top two teams. We then have Turin 10 points behind them and then LS37 who have dropped two places today coming 14th in today's event and then MDoc down in fifth. So it's looking like at the moment it's going to be Massey with first, MTV season with second and then a fight between Turin and LS37 for third. So we'll see what happens with that. And then also with the countries the Finns are still leading. They have a lead of about 50 points now which is a massive lead just after four events. The Italians are behind them and then the Swedes are only about eight points behind the Italians. So it is becoming a very close race in the Swedish forests and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with that. But yeah, after what was a very fun and interesting day today, we are almost reaching the halfway point of this series with five more events to go. But I think Christian has made some very fun tasks for us to do as hard as they have been and I am enjoying them a lot. So hopefully you can join me again tomorrow for the fifth day of this series. But that is the end of today's video. If you would like to like the video as always and subscribe to the channel, it just helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithms and also make sure you're notified whenever I release a video, although you may have to hit the bell next to the subscribe button and click all. And also remember to share these videos. We're still going for a thousand people at some point on the leaderboard, whether it's part of this Swedish series or whether it's in the next Taurus Cup. But I think that is possible and it's only going to be made possible by you sharing these videos and the website. So make sure you're doing that and also comment down below any extra things you think I've missed from this video, analysis wise or extra things you want me to add as always. And I will join you again tomorrow for day five of the Swedish Forest Cup. Mm -hmm.